Hey guys, this is going to be the Christmas songs book tag, and I know that I'm filming this actually on Christmas, so it's not going to be up today or before Christmas, but I wanted to do it anyway, and so I'm actually going to do it. And this was actually a blog tag, um, but I'm choosing to do it in video form instead, and I got it from the Artsy Reader Girl, and I will leave a link to her blog post in the description. And number one is All I Want for Christmas is You, name your favorite bookish couple. And I have to choose Ron and Hermione. There are a couple of other fictional couples that are really up there in my favorites. Some of them are like almost tied with Ron and Hermione, but to me Ron and Hermione are like somewhere else because they're just like my all time favorite fictional couple. Two, I'll be home for Christmas. Name a book where a character is away from home, school, vacation, etc. And Harry Potter is like the obvious choice here for me because all the books except the last one take place when they're at school and away from home. But then to be, that like didn't even occur to me at first when I first heard this question, which I kind of feel like is because, I mean, it is a theme throughout Harry Potter that Hogwarts is like Harry's real home. It's not with the Dursleys or whatever. I didn't choose Harry Potter. Instead, I chose The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson and the rest of the Shades of London series because the main character in these books, Rory, is from Louisiana, but in the first one, she is moving to England to go to boarding school. So it's all about an American girl living in England, which is really far away from home. Three, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Name your favorite little book. Children's book, short story, novella, etc. This was really hard at first. Like it took me a really long time until it occurred to me that I can choose Tales of Beetle the Bard for this by J.K. Rowling, obviously. Um, theoretically, I should probably choose a favorite within these since I guess they're individual stories, but if I did have to choose a favorite, I would say The Tale of the Three Brothers, primarily because it is so important in the actual Harry Potter story. But that's my choice. Four, Santa Claus is coming to town. What books do you hope Santa brings you this year? So like I said, I'm filming this on Christmas, so I've already gotten my Christmas presents. I did get books. Hold on a Crap. I got all of these and then um, two other books that are on my bookshelf, like a Star Wars book and a Hunger Games book. Um, so I got all of these, but I do still have an answer for this because, well, first of all, I got Amazon gift cards too, so I can buy books with that, which is what I'm going to do. But beyond that, there was also a book that my mom says that she ordered for me, but it's like out of stock on Amazon, so it hasn't like come. And so I would really like, it's Avatar The Art of the Animated Series book, and I, it would be really nice if I managed to get that because I wanted that like since it came out and everything. So it would be really nice <laughs> because it's not here yet. Then Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which book turned your nose red, made you cry? Um, the Artsy Reader Girl, like I said, I got this tag from her and she chose The Book Thief, which is a great answer because that did make me cry. But I chose something I read more recently, which is Dear Leader, My Escape from North Korea by Jang Jinsung, who is a um, North Korea defector who lives in South Korea now. Um, he wrote a book about his escape from North Korea and also kind of about his life in North Korea. And it's just a very sad book. I also read, also finished Nothing to Envy by Barbara Demick yesterday, I think. Um, and this is also about, um, she interviewed a bunch of defectors from North Korea about their stories. And so I, I left the other book over there. But both of those books together are just, can be really upsetting sometimes because, I mean, North Korea has more like human rights violations than like any other country and you just they talk about a lot of really terrible stuff so I'm gonna go with those. Six, the most wonderful time of the year. What's your favorite book to read during the holidays and it's reread or genre? I don't really do things like that. I don't reread books that often. Um, there's a very limited number of books that I have reread and I don't really choose books by genre according to season. Um, so there isn't like a certain genre that I prefer reading at different times of the year or whatever. It's just kind of like my mood at the time. But I am currently rereading Harry Potter on Deathly Hallows right now. 
um, and I like rereading Harry Potter all of the time, so I'm just gonna make that my answer. Seven is We Three Kings, which is your favorite trilogy, and I'm going to surprise absolutely no one with saying the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which are like some of my favorite books of all time. Number eight, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Which character would you not mind being snowed in with? I think I'm going to choose Hermione for this. I feel like everyone else would, I didn't like read a ton of these, but I'm pretty sure like everyone else would have interpreted this like inter um, romantically and chosen like their book crush or whatever. But I honestly would like just, me and Hermione could just sit around and read, which is what I do anyway, and then like talk about books and it would be awesome. Mine is Last Christmas, which book seriously let you down? I'm gonna go with Matched by Ali Condi and also the sequel Cross, which I have over there. Um, I just, this was an okay book. I liked both the first and second book okay, um, but I also have a lot of issues with certain parts of the book that really bug me throughout the entire story and kind of take away from all of the like more positive aspects of the story for me. But the main reason why I'm choosing it for this is that it deals with a society where you get told like who you're going to marry and like they match you with people and it's like they're supposed to be like, I don't think they ever use the term soulmate, they might, I don't, I really don't remember at this point, but like, you know, they do portray it as like, we're matching you up with a person you're meant to be with, and you marry them, and so on, and that sort of idea, like, stories that explore kind of alternate societies where people, like, are actually, like, know who their soulmate is, have always intrigued me. Like, the idea of what would the world be like if people knew who their soulmate was is very, very interesting to me. But at the same time, I have yet to actually find that done in a way that I liked. It's the strangest thing because it fascinates me so much, but every single book I read or movie I watch or whatever, which hasn't been like a million, but I have... Um, read or watched multiple kind of interpretations of that idea and I always hate how it's handled every single time and it's almost to the point where I feel like I need to write it myself because no one does it the way that I think it should be done but at the same time I don't actually have a story in my head for that idea but like I just like I I but every time like I find a story like that like matched I'm really intrigued by it and I like hope that it will be what I want and it never is. It never, like I don't like how Match handled it, I don't like how they dealt with that idea in the story and I mean I haven't read the third book yet. I haven't read the third book, I don't know what happens, so maybe something really great happens in the third book, I don't know, but the first two books I don't like how it was done. Like it wasn't satisfying to me. 10 is White Christmas, which upcoming release are you dreaming of? Um, I went with the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare, which you can see I have the Mortal Instruments behind me, but that's her, going to be her new series that takes place like five years after the Mortal Instruments. I think I could be wrong on the exact time span there. I also could probably say Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy because it's not so much an upcoming release. It's like a series of short stories that take place again after the Mortal Instruments um, and each short story was released on Amazon and I think there's only a couple more that haven't been released but I'm not sure on that because I haven't been reading them on Amazon because I want to get them as like a print copy all together in one print copy which is happening later on like they're released online and then as print copy so that's an upcoming release even if the stories are already online so either that or the dark artifices because I think I can't even remember when it's come out any or when it's coming out anymore I think it's next year I think it's in 2016 possibly in like spring but I, I should probably keep closer track of that, but it's just been so long that I've lost track of when the date even is supposed to be. Really, I feel like Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy is coming out in print form in the spring of 2016, and then the first Dark, Dark Artifices book is like the fall 
but I could be wrong. Like I said, I would have to double check. So that's the entire tag. Like I said, I know it is Christmas Day right now and that you're going to see this video after Christmas, but if you want to do the tag anyway, then feel free to let me know that you did it and I'll check it out. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone had a good Christmas if you celebrate since it will have already happened by the time this is up. So I will see you guys later. Bye.